Alex Morgan has been one of the most recognizable faces in sport with good reason. Since then, she has helped the team win a world championship, become a best-selling author. She's a married woman now. Huh? Alex joins us today as a paid spokesperson for Chobani Yogurts. Chobani. Go, go for the good campaign. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. But we have, a, we have an equal pay issue going on here that I think people mm -hmm. will find very interesting because the finances and the way it's, you know, um, in, in national soccer, people don't know much about, but we do know that the women's soccer team has done a whole lot of women winning on the national level, mm -hmm. and the men's not so much. How much of a disparity is there? Um, it's pretty big. I mean, when the information became public, I think so many people were just really taken aback by the pay discrepancy. And, you know, we've fought our way, and so have the men. So, um, you know, it's great to see where they are now, but I feel like, oh, look at that picture. We have a graph, <laughs> wow. Alex, for people that want to know. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think for us having the success that we've had over the past couple of years, over the last 10 years, really, but especially over the last five, um, it's just, I think it's a no-brainer for them to invest in this and to see the future women's soccer to continue to grow. All right, so that's Carly a friendly match is between, it's just called a friendly, and it's between two countries. There's nothing really on the line. Yeah. We just play them. And if, let's say, the U.S. men were to lose all 20 games, each player would still get 100,000, and the women would get 72,000. And that's pretty accurate, I think, with most people, most a lot of women in the workforce today, and that's, that's 76 a huge, on the dollar, something like that. Or 79 or something like that. Yeah. It makes me mad. You're, I don't like you're, it. You're less than 79. You're but 72. But you acknowledge, yeah. and Carly Lloyd, who wrote this letter, globally, men's soccer is a huge sport. When yeah. I think of U.S., I can name so many women's players, not so many men's players, but I like what Carly wrote. She says, I understand that the men's World Cup generates vastly more money than the women, but the simple truth is that U.S. soccer projects that our team, your team, will generate over $5 million in profit, while the men will lose a million. Mm -hmm. So if you just look at those numbers alone, why is there any kind of discrepancy? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult because on the global scale of things, uh, you know, usually women's sport, women's teams don't generate as much revenue as men's teams, but you have to look just in the U.S., and we do, and we have, and we will continue in the future, and U.S. soccer has projected for us to continue to generate more revenue than the men. Our only basis of com comparison is the men. We don't want to go us against the men. It's really a fight against our employer. But it's, that's the only basis of, of comparison that well, we have right now. What would help greatly is if the men also took your side and spoke up for are it. They? Have they been silent mostly? Or are they not to create a rift here? But have... A couple have spoke up in our favor. I mean, Landon Donovan, former huge former. national team player. Tim Howard, current player. Um, you know, that's pretty much been the two that have been a little more vocal than the rest of them. It would be great to have their support. And obviously, my husband playing in the MLS, um, him and his, his team, I feel, support us very much so. But it uh, would be great to have more public support from the guys. What does your husband say about all this? Oh, he's so supportive. I mean, he thinks it's... It's so crazy to see the, the pay discrepancy, but um, he understands the, the fight, the battle that we have to have with our employer, with U.S. soccer, and um, he's been really great. I mean, he's been helping me out so much. This is one thing, a, a graphic here we can put up I found interesting, a World Cup statistic. Last time in the World Cup, the men uh, got bounced out at the round of 16 and got $9 million for losing. And the women went on and won the whole darn tournament and got two million for winning. Mm -hmm. So men go out at 16, they get nine. You guys win and get two. That's a whole different problem, though, because that that goes from FIFA because that's FIFA. That's a FIFA, not that's okay. That's the the money that FIFA allocates for each men's team that wins based on what they feel is fair, based on the marketing dollars that they receive or what. So that's that's a whole other issue. I, right. This is I, U.S. soccer, and yeah. the problem and the problem being for. for in those countries, a lot of them don't care about the women's program as much. Yeah. Where you know, U.S., Japan, there are Canada, yeah. where our women's programs are all very, very strong. And the ratings, I mean, television ratings. When you guys, last year's World Cup title game, 23 Huge. million people watched. That's I mean, we beat out NBA Finals, um, I think World Series. So you know, it's comparative to to all of the glo the major men's sports um, and leagues in the U.S. This one gives me a beef right here. This is people at home can relate to, too. Per diem, so that's what you get when you're on the road. Okay, men get $75 per day. Women 60, just make it fair. You're going to eat great. You can go out to eat and grab a, something fun. Like, why is that a little discrepancy there? Yeah, it's a little weird, yeah. 
All right, this bugs is, me out. Yeah. I'm mad. I'm mad. Listen, here's what U.S. Know, soccer says about the in an official release here. What they say: Our efforts to be advocates for women's soccer are unwavering. We are committed to and engaged in negotiating a new collective bargaining agreement that addresses compensation with the Women's National Team Players Association to take effect when the current CBA expires at the end of this year. Do you? It sounds to me that they're saying we're going to get into this and we're going to we're going to do right. Do you sounds have faith like in it. that? Uh, I hope so. Do I have faith in it? I'm, I don't know. You know, negotiations so far haven't really paralleled what they've said there, but um, I hope that because now it's kind of more of a public issue that it will be accelerated a little bit more and um, we'll both continue to find, meet a compromise that is fair and equal. I like the release talking about it. It's always good. All right. Yeah. Well, the Olympics are right around the corner. Let's talk. Let's talk preparation. Let's talk Rio. Let's talk yogurt. Let's talk Let's your talk. husband, too. Recently married. Who's more competitive? I need the ring, the proposal, the wedding, the whole bit.